Hey, it's Miss Alana here, working on math, getting smarter and smarter every day, just like you. We are working on math, uh, lots of different standards. Uh, we have something important coming up. What is that? The Georgia Milestones test. Raise your hand if you are ready. Raise your hand if you have seen our Georgia Milestones video, music video. If not, find it in our channel. I might, hmm, I gotta maybe try to link it here. If not, I know you can find it. All right, so you should have your graphing notebook. We are working on two questions today of equivalent fractions. Um, yeah, we'll do two questions today. So have your graphing notebook and write it down. If you have not done the other one, go find the other video, okay? So bam, so we, we did that one. All right, here's the next one. Which number sentence is true? I can't see. All right, A, one fourth equals five eighths. B, six sevenths equals 12 20 eighths. C, two thirds equals 10 thirtieths. And D, nine fifteenths equals three fifths. All right, so I have, have your pencil. I'm gonna use a marker so you all can see it better. So just like we did in the other question, I want to highlight or underline important keywords, vocabulary words that will help you determine and figure out the answer. So which number sentence is true? Okay, so what are key words there? Number sentence, I'll highlight that. And what else? You know, I'm gonna highlight the word true because that is pretty important when you have to figure out what the answer is. All right, so right there. Okay, so go ahead and write that down. And I have a little box here for my work. Show your work. You know what? I might need to get a little thing to cover up that answer. Okay. All right. So how are we going to show our work and figure that out? Just like what we did there, we're gonna see if these are what? Equivalent fractions, okay? And so you see the equal sign, but guess what? Not everything here are equal to each other. Um, so we gotta find which one is true, okay? So I have one fourth and five eighths. How do we figure that out? How do we make equivalent fractions? You need to either multiply or divide by the same number or the same factor. So look at this, one fifth and four eighths. I'm gonna write it on the side. Okay, oh, maybe I should have. All right, so to go from one to five, what do I do? I multiplied it by five. And how about four to go from four to eight? Uh, where is it? I multiply it by what? By two. So are these equivalent to each other? No, they are not because we didn't multiply by the same factor. Remember, it has to be by the same factor. So that's a five and a two. So these are not true. I'm gonna write not true. All right, B, six sevens, go ahead and write that down, equals 12 28ths, or is it, or not? Okay. So to go from six to 12, what do I do? I multiply it by two right here, and how about seven to 28? Multiply it by four, make sure you're practicing your multiplication facts, okay? Are these equal to each other? Oh, no, they are not because the numerator we multiplied by two and then the denominator, we had to multiply that by four. So that is not true. Oh. Okay. All right, so let's write C. Two thirds, 10 thirtieths. Okay. How do I go from two to 10? I multiply it by five, and how do I go from three to 30? Multiply it by 10. Are these equivalent? Nope, not true, why not? Because we did not multiply by the same factor. We multiplied the numerator by, what's that? 
5 and the denominator by 10. So it must be D. But guess what? We're not just going to guess D and pick D because the other ones were wrong. We're going to actually work it out, okay? So always work everything out. So we have 9 fifteenths equals 3 fifths. How do I go from 9 to 3? Okay, so for this one, we're not multiplying. It's numbers getting smaller, so we need to divide. Divide 9 by what? Divided by 3. And how about the 15? How do I go from 15, 15 to 5? Divided by 3. Are they equal to each other? Yes. Because look, it's divided by 3. Divided by 3, so it is true. So that is your correct answer right there. All right, so we are done with that. So we'll just do two today. Maybe we'll do two tomorrow, three tomorrow, four tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so just look out for new videos being posted. Uh, I know you all were like, Ms. Lana, you're not posting. I will do a better job at posting. So watch all the 500 videos anyway. Lots of learning stuff. Get all your online stuff done. And I think. I'm done for the day. Well, not done. Still have work to do. But for now, I am done. I love you all. If I don't see you today, I'll see you tomorrow.